Hello world, this is the third video in my series of a beginner creating my own Jarvis-like system in Python. For now, I'm still using the word Jarvis-like as the name because one, it probably gets me more views from YouTube searches because I know when I first started, uh, my first inspiration was Jarvis from Iron Man. And two, the only recommendations my youngest son has is bruv which is a popular online gaming slang for bro. And so probably not going to go with that because I want this to be a home automation system eventually. And I don't want something silly as its name. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I can interact with Twitter using a plugin called Tweepy. So just imagine if you with this capability, you can stream live tweets so imagine you were going to go speak at a, an event or a conference and that conference had a hashtag. You can live stream the tweets from this event so you have an up-to-date info of what people are saying. Or imagine if you're about to meet somebody important and you can search by them and a subject, a certain subject, and then you can get their thoughts through their, through their Twitter feed. And so for now, I can't do any of that yet. I don't know how to do it, but I'm learning. I've seen quite a bit of uh, videos, and, uh, I, and I think I'm getting close to that. But for now, I can simply compose a tweet from my control panel here, and then it'll tweet for me. So let me show you how. So we're going to run this. Welcome. Who is this? Brandon. Please enter the security code. Admin code activated. Would you like to compose a tweet? Yes. So you can see how it says compose your tweet. So let's say um, writing a live tweet while recording on my YouTube channel. And then I'll post a link to it. How can I help you? Open Twitter. Open Twitter. All right, and there we go. So you can see on my Twitter, it says writing a live tweet while recording on my YouTube channel. And uh, full disclosure, that was my first time using a link in it because it's, it's just real text. So I didn't know if it was going to convert the link. That. And it's on still. Bye. I can't do that. Bye. Goodbye. So I'm still learning how the speech recognition app works because I think there has to be a time or it should just listen until I say it's call sign. But again, we haven't named it yet. So until then, it's just actively listening to me. So while I'm recording, I'm talking and it's still recording. So there you go tweeting from that Python program. So how do you do this? The first is to apply at this right here, developer.twitter.com. This gives you the access to its uh, system so you can start doing your own application. So when I looked on the tutorials, it looked like you used to be able to just open a Twitter developer account and that was it. And I think they've changed that since because I had to hook up my developer account to a real Twitter account that I already had. And that's at the at B-J-O-N-E-6. And so that's probably, they probably changed it to prevent like Russian Twitter bots. But you can apply at this website right here. I'll post it in the description. And then they'll ask you a bunch of questions and they'll say, are you a Russian Twitter bot? And you say, no, I'm not a Russian Twitter bot. And they'll say, cool, you're not a Russian Twitter bot and then give you access. 
Then you'll need to install Tweepy by using pip install Tweepy. This was not difficult like some other plugins were for Windows. So if you don't know how to do that, you go to command prompt. And then if you have Python installed correctly, you literally just type pip install Tweepy. I think it's called Tweepy for Python, so I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'm not going to run it because I already have it, but that's how you do it, just in case you've never done that before. Okay, and then once you're in it, you open up your project, and then you'll start two different um, Python files. So I recommend two. I don't know what the industry standard is. I've seen tutorials where they just put it all in one. And so, because what you'll need to do is, uh, once you get your app approved, you have these keys and tokens and you need to make four variables to store those keys and so I'm not going to show you my variables even though I've seen a lot of other youtubers show their keys and tokens and then you store them here so I name mine consumer key consumer secret key access token and access token secret and that's because that's exactly what they're named and so I imagine as I get further into this um, project that I'm going to have some sort of server and so a lot of the keys and passwords and all the personal info I plan to put in there that's going to be on a server it's not going to be pulled directly from the application itself and so I would like to keep them separate the tweet console if you will the your Python file that has all the tweet data and then the keys that should be somewhere separate so that's what I've done there the rest of this, um, I have two links at the top here, if you can see them. That's where I got a lot of my information from. And so uh, so what I did was you import Tweepy, because you just downloaded that. And then from the keys file, you import all of it. That's what the asterisk means, just import it all. And so uh, then the rest is required input. So first you do an authorization using that format right there and that will take your consumer key and consumer secret key that you started in the last in the keys file then you have to set the access token which grants you like read and write full access and then you use that access token and access token secret and then you create the api and that's how you use it right there and then i created my own function called tweet console and then on the main file asks would you like to compose a tweet and then it asked me for my input for composing a tweet and then the api dot update status is the actual tweet message and then i just put a print statement that says your tweet is posted now it's not checking to see if the tweet is posted or not so if i have an error it's not going to catch it it's just going to tell me my tweet is posted and then like you've seen in previous videos, I can open up websites by voice command. So we open Twitter together and we saw that that p tweet was posted. So, but with TweetP or TweetPy is so much more powerful. You can auto follow, auto retweet, search the last 200 people who have posted about a certain hashtag. So I would love to connect to as many people as I can who are Python programming. So I need to learn how to do that. And that's how this works. So, but so far I'm three videos into this series and you've mainly seen me do it from the Python console. And that's where you see the words coming out right here. And uh, if I'm going to be streaming Twitter or interacting with the internet, I should really be doing this with a graphical user interface. And that's kind of when you watch the Iron Man movies, you see him interacting with his Jarvis or his Edith or his or that was Spider-Man, but Spider-Man's Edith. There's always some sort of graphic interface, and uh, I think it's ready time. It's about time to uh, start looking at that. So in the next video, I'm going to be using a Python plugin called PyQt5, and I imagine it's PyQt5, and uh, it's a built and it has its own built-in designer. So I'm going to create a graphical inter user face, which will allow me to provide input just like I type there and then it'll provide output as well 
and so and it'll have a cool picture as you see in my youtube channel that's my family's emblem so i hope you enjoyed this video so please remember to subscribe like and share this video all right thank you